without further ado let's welcome our friend mr patrick patrick hi thank you welcome. welcome welcome to our show yes thank you thank you so glad to be on the show here yeah. patrick um, patrick you, you you are a you are a genius you you are there in the industry for 30 plus years you are a it consultant you are a youtuber uh, creating a lot of educational contents you are amateur actor as well uh, so where do we start if you can you know give a brief you know, introduction or if you can share something about you know, how it started from you yeah yeah so so yeah i'm i'm like you said i'm i'm a man with many hats many interests and um, but um, the what brought us together is of course you know the the, the computer science angle um you 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 stumbled across some of the youtube videos which of course was more of a passion project uh, of me um so it it began a long time ago so i'm now 56 which makes me a dinosaur for for some people so i've i've, I've seen a lot when it comes to computers i started with uh, i got i think i got my first computer when i was uh, 13 it was a texas instruments 994a those who remember that maybe and then and then you got some some simpler computers so i started when i was pretty young i learned basic from actually the handbook of the single spectrum had a complete basic uh, introductory course you know that's when we had these printed handbooks ring binded and uh, i i taught myself basic when i was um I think 14 something like that one even before before we had a computer basic in school i don't know what i was doing on 14 <laughs> okay So yeah, so that 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 was a bit of 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 stuff I needed. Yeah, of course I was also gaming on 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 those on those consoles and computers. Uh mm. don't worry. I, I had a normal youth at that time. I wasn't I wasn't the nerd who always only sat down and and programmed. No, 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 definitely not. But um I was I was always fascinated by these tools and which then later on became my mm-hmm. my job after after I left school and university. And at the same time I was always always an actor by the way because you mentioned this this chat so I uh, in school, uh, I was I was acting and that later became it actually became a decision at that time do I become an actor or do I or do I go into computer um science oh. yeah that, that was a, yeah, that's a really, that serious it was I mean you can... there was a situation you know which path do I go and I I chose when it comes to profession I chose computer but I never left the acting so I um, always yeah. stayed that can you can again come across the path can again come across acting is something exactly. so um yeah and uh, i'm i i was actually only employed 6 months in my life between uh, school and university i became a freelancer during my uh, um, university time um working for wow week. that's an achievement 6 <laughs> <laughs> months of your employment in one organization that's it lifetime <laughs> or that's yeah that's that's uh, yeah, at that time of that's and, and, and currently i'm i'm unemployable when it comes to this one so you know i've <laughs> i've worked for for uh, 30 years uh, as uh, you know, more or less free freelancer now i'm not a, officially a freelancer any longer because i have my own company company yeah but basically yes you know I just wanted to be my own boss and um, so yeah i'm i'm all about uh, i'm all about this one although I'm, i know this lifestyle is not for everyone so i wouldn't i wouldn't say this is the new norm and i had a rather unconventional approach to 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 getting jobs and I'll come to this in a second uh, but um, you know skill development and certificates and all this stuff we're talking about Mm-hmm. But, but yeah I I started uh, freelancing when I was uh, 20 21 that's that's mm-hmm. when I became uh, and you were you were part of uh, I mean from beginning you're from Hamburg right Germany um, yeah Germany Hamburg yeah yeah you yeah. didn't mention so I'm I'm, yeah. I'm quite far far away from 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 your side um yeah yeah and that so so I so I uh, I became a freelancer when uh, when DOS was still around so before even Windows Windows was a, was a thing and the first computer I used on the on on the on the job was actually a Macintosh you know before Mac OS then yes. so and we had uh, we had these mainframe computers and what 
The first job that I actually was paid for, I mean, I did jobs as a, as a kid, you know, bringing newspaper and all this stuff, but the first computer job had nothing to do with programming. It was actually caring about fonts. And I, I, I really, really, that, that fostered my, my love for these. And, uh, you know, at the newspaper, they had these mainframes, which were used for, for printing. And they had outputs, but of course it was expensive uh, to proof print with them. So they they bought these Macintosh computers and these um, laser writers um, from from Apple themselves, which had their fonts, and then they generated. But of course, they needed to adapt to the to the real printing. And I think it was a project around three months where we just were checking fonts, you know, we were printing out on the original mainframes and printing out on the really laser letters and then putting them side by side and comparing each letter individually. You know, what is the thickness, what is the curvature? There I learned a lot about, you know, this, this uh, stuff like serif, non-serif and, and you know, font size. So and the diagram, was, something you have that interest from the very beginning, diagrams, forms, those aspects, yeah. right? The design, yeah, exactly. basically, in today's yeah, yeah. world. Six. I'm not a designer. I, I, I didn't okay. go into design, but 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 I learned to appreciate that um, mm -hmm. very much from, from from this from this project. And um, you know, it's 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 all these things I did over my life that remind me. Uh, there is this famous speech by Steve Jobs, the um, Stanford commencement speech that he gave, which was shared millions of times, where he said that you never know if you do something or learn something what what it will be useful for. You know? Uh, I, I never knew that doing a YouTube video would bring me to you. So yeah. that, you know, these are coincidences. And, and the thing that Steve Jobs said is that you can only connect the dots in hindsight. So I, that, that is one of the main, main lessons that um, I had throughout my life.